its horizontal and vertical components that makes things simpler for us because we can then directly find out the perpendicular distances for the horizontal component and the vertical component once we have found out these components let us check the equations here is the moment about c the moment about c will be equal to now once again what will be the sign convention we have said in the beginning that all clockwise moments are going to be negative all anti clockwise moments are going to be positive so let us start with our 10 kN force this is a 10 kN force along with the 10 kN force there is also a horizontal component of the 3 kN force which is 3 cos 20 so 10 plus 3 cos 20 into the perpendicular distance which is equal to 1 meter that will give you the magnitude of the force but you also need to find out whether it will be clockwise or anti clockwise so about c this force is going to have the effect of rotating it in the clockwise direction therefore it will carry a negative sign so here is our equation minus 10 into 1 Minus three cos twenty into one, and the third force, the vertical component of the three kilonewton force, which is three sine twenty, into the perpendicular distance, which is two meters, as shown over here. The third force is also going to cause a clockwise moment, and therefore this will also carry a negative sign. So we have here three sine twenty into two. this will be equal to a clockwise moment of 14.87 kN let us check out now point a let us see how these forces are now going to create the moment about point a once again you have the 10 kN force you have the horizontal component of the 3 kN force and the vertical component of the 3 kN force the 10 kN force is going to rotate the entire body about point a in the anti clockwise direction the 3 cos 20 that is the horizontal component is also going to rotate the body about a in the anti clockwise direction the vertical component of the 3 kN force 3 sin 20 is going to cause a clockwise rotation once again let us see this once again you have a vertical component of the 3 kN force you have a horizontal component of the 3 kN force plus a 10 kN force both these forces together will rotate the body about a in the anti clockwise direction whereas this vertical force the component of the 3 kN force is going to rotate the body about a in the clockwise direction once we have understood this concept let us go to find out the magnitude ma about the point a because the 10 and the vertical component forces are causing an anti clockwise moment they will carry a positive sign into the perpendicular distance from a that is how much 3 meters and because the vertical component of the 3 kN force is causing a clockwise moment it will carry a negative sign into its perpendicular distance which is how much 5 plus 2 7 meters together all these forces are going to cause a moment of 31.27 in the which direction because it is carrying a positive sign we assume that it is going to cause a moment in the anti clockwise direction So this is how you can get familiar with the concept of 
moments any force is going to cause a moment by the magnitude of the force multiplied by its perpendicular distance of the force from the axis of rotation the direction of the moment or in some cases it is also called the sense of the moment is going to be given from the direction of the rotation whether it is clockwise or anti clockwise for our problems we have considered all anti clockwise moments as positive and clockwise moments as negative in no way should this be taken as a universally defined rule you can also assume that clockwise moments are negative but stick to that sign convention throughout the entire problem do not change the sign convention in the middle of the problem let us go to the next very important concept related to moments which is called the verignan's theorem verignan was a french mathematician he has given a very important theorem related to moments this theorem states that the moment of a force about any axis is equal to the sum of the moments of its components about the axis it is very important in the sense let us say we have a point a and a force acting at a distance from a if this force were having a vertical and a horizontal component it will be very easy for us to calculate the perpendicular distances but if you are not knowing the components you do not know how to find the components your job is difficult because then you have to find out the perpendicular distance of the force from the line of axis of rotation let us see how we can use the verignan's theorem so once again the verignan's theorem predefined this is our force f let us say it has components p and q mind well we studied in our previous ch chapter that a force can have rectangular components which can be vertical and horizontal or it can have components in any direction so let us take the general case of a components in any direction p and q which are not necessarily at right angles or not necessarily rectangular components so if you want to find out the moment about b then naturally from our previous example we need to find out the magnitude of f and its perpendicular distance from b which is say d but the verignan's theorem comes to our help over here it states very clearly that this moment fd is given by the perpendicular distances of the components and their summation so let us say the component is p its perpendicular distance is small p the other component is q and its perpendicular distance from b is small q then fd is very clearly defined as equal to pp into qq we'll see how the verignan's theorem can be very simply put to use in order to find out the moments here once again we have a rod a rod ab and there is a 30 newton force acting at 30 degrees with the horizontal you have the length of the rod and its inclination and everything is defined our problem is the 30 newton force is applied to the rod and the length being 80 mm find the moment of the force about b about this point in the first part of the problem you can say that you want to resolve it by horizontal and vertical components that means this force can be resolved into its horizontal component and a vertical component along x axis and along y axis the second part of the problem states that you want to resolve this force along ab and perpendicular to ab let us see how this problem can be solved here is our first part 
this is your rod AB. This is the free body diagram. As you can see over here, this is your rod AB, and you have the 30 newton force acting. First of all, we will resolve the 30 newton force into its horizontal and vertical components, and see what is the moment about B. In order to find out the moment, you need naturally the perpendicular distance of the force from the axis of rotation. Similarly, for this force, you want to find out the perpendicular distance between the force and the axis of rotation. So, in short, the moment about B will be given by 30 cos 30 into the perpendicular distance 80 sin 65. The important thing is you still need to find out the direction of the rotation caused by this force. You can very well see that this force is going to try and rotate the rod about B in which direction? Clockwise direction. And therefore, this force is going to have a negative sign. Let us look at this force. This force will try and rotate the entire rod about B in anti-clockwise direction and therefore it will have a positive sign. Let us look at our MB now. MB is 30 sin 30 that is this force into its perpendicular distance. How much is that? 80 cos 65 as you can see over here. Sign is positive because anti-clockwise. Next force 30 cos 30 into its perpendicular distance 80 sin 65 the sign here is going to be negative. So, the net moment about B due to this force is going to be minus 1376.58 Newton mm minus in the sense it is a clockwise moment. Next part of the problem. The next part is you want to resolve this 30 Newton force not in the horizontal and vertical directions, but along AB and perpendicular to AB. So, here is our problem. Once again the same rod 30 Newton force, this time we are going to resolve it along AB. So, you have 30 cos what angle? This time not 30. The angle is now 35 because the total angle being 65, this will also be 65. So, along AB is going to be 35 degrees. So, you have the component 30 cos 35 and the component perpendicular to AB 30 sin 35. This particular force along AB is not going to cause any rotation. Mind well, we very clearly said that any force which is intersecting the axis of rotation will not cause rotation. Therefore, this force is not causing any rotation. Here is a force which is not intersecting the axis of rotation. Therefore, this force is going to cause some rotation. In which direction will the rotation be? In the clockwise direction. That means negative sign. The value, the magnitude of the moment is going to be 30 sin 35 into its perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation 80 mm. So, here is your answer. Across and along is 1376.58. Another problem, here you have a contraption, there is a rod, another rod and a 500 Newton force acting at certain angle. You are asked to find out the moment about point C. The next part of the problem is, do not use the Verignan's theorem, that means do not resolve it into its components, but directly use the force by the perpendicular distance of the force from the axis of rotation that is this. 
so the next part of the problem is going to be you have to find out this distance but let us check the first part the first part as it is is very simple here is the first part your 500 newton force can be resolved into its vertical and horizontal components the horizontal component is 500 cos 60 and the vertical component is 500 sin 60 this component causes a rotation in the anti clockwise direction this component causes rotation in the clockwise direction so this is negative and this is positive let us come to the problem here is a 500 cos 60 into the vertical distance the vertical distance very clearly is 0.1 Point 0.1 is nothing else but 300 minus 200 that is this distance and the next part is your horizontal component into the perpendicular distance of 125 so here is your so the moment about C is going to be minus 29.30 if you have to find out the perpendicular distance between C and the 500 Newton force, now your problem is very simple. You already know the value of the moment. How much is MC? MC is already known to you now. It is equal to minus 29.30 the distance is to be found out the moment is known to you the force which is applied is also known to you can you find out the perpendicular distance so 29.30 divided by 500 your distance is going to be 0 0.582 next part of the problem A hundred Newton force is applied at A. The concept of moment is very interesting in the sense any force applied in any direction.